Hello everyone, welcome all of you in my channel SNT Power Vision. In the last video, I explained about to how to map the date table to the flight cell for two different fields, order date and shift date. But at a time, only one relationship can be active, like if order date to date I will be active or ship date to date will be active, as we can see in this model view. But suppose what happens, suppose we have to compare two different value at the same time like order date and ship date parallelly. Then that scenario this, this will not work. So what are the other possible solution here? Means to create two different mapping. One like order date to like date in the date table and another is like create another date table with the ship date to the date. But this time we will see in the different method how to create date table through di different way. So. In the model view, we will go to the transform data. Now go to new source, blank query. And then advanced editor M query a bit different language. I will explain this thing in more detail when I will post video on the M query, M query in more detail here. So time being just remember this. This is the hard coded things. Done. Okay, we will give some error here. Time being let at let as it is. So Now go to manage parameter, new parameter here, click. Start here, any suggested value, list of values, now here 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. Default value will be 2014. Current value will be 2014. Now we'll create another parameter. India two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen, two thousand sixteen, two thousand seventeen, two thousand eighteen. Here default value will be two thousand eighteen.
yeah now this error gone now this is the query here this query have been formed here so i'll explain how it is how it works here Now go to advanced editor now we can see here this is the start date parameter here since here we have defined start year parameter as a year 2014 here so it will take a start date as a 2014 one month now end date will be year date 2018 12th means the 12th of december 31st uh, december now number of days it will take duration dot dash end date minus start date end date means 2018 31st December minus 2014 1st Jan now dates is equal to list dot date means it will create the list of date the starting date will be the 2014 0101 number of days plus one which whatever have been calculated from here date and duration will, will be one day means one one day each entity month zero year zero that is time that's why if we see here it has been calculated means created here now list two table okay or change type date date rename it and advantage of help publicly creating through new parameter is that we can change start date to end date start date and end date as well suppose here start date we have started from 2014 if we want we can change it to 2015 as well we can see here now suppose you wanted to start here from 2016 so we have that option here like end date as well here so here end date is 2018 suppose you want 2017 we can do that thing here like that we have that flexibility to change the start year and end year date now go to ship date add column date now day name name of the day we can create another date column here now day of the week we can create whether it is two three four it is very easy thing just you have to select the option and click now week of the year this is the week of here like for which week we means for which week it is number now month we can say here for january it is one two three like that it is after month of the name name of the month year like that we can create multiple column based on our requirement here now 
now close and apply so this is a dynamic table only here we can we have option to change the start date to end date now things are getting loaded here Yeah, this is dim ship now yeah, this is our dim ship date has been created here that is another dimension to this model now we'll map it yes now here in this table we see here properties Hack cells order date and date table we have the date now this is the dimension ship mode here here we'll map ship date to the date here properties we can see its mapping here Hack cells this is the ship date and dimension underscore shifted it is mapped to the date here now it is many to one cardinality and this relationship is active cross filter direction single here here both the table are same here date table only but both the table have its own responsibility now we'll see here how it works now go to report Now this is the date table which is mapped to the order date. And go to the packed cells. Take the cells here. We'll do a bit of formatting here. borders and shadow here so that we can differentiate between two different visuals now we'll create another visual It's a dim underscore shifted. Here we can see this is the sales by order date. So we have year two hundred fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Here, this is the sales by the ship date here. So we have five different year, like 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this is the difference between the means dimension table. One is based on the order date and another is the based on the ship date. So each table has its own responsibility. My functions are same, but their responsibility are different here. So this is called the role playing dimension in the Power BI. Both the table are serving their own purpose. So this scenario is called a role playing dimension in the Power BI. Please like, share and subscribe my channel SNT Power Vision.